Hi, welcome, welcome back to our channel. Sales is always fun. Last time we discussed that this episode we will talk about the characteristics of a successful sales professional. Well, we will get into the subject. The first character I would say is integrity and honesty. Now you will start smiling. A salesman being honest, integrity, how is it? Well, you ask anybody who's been in the profession successfully for a very long time, he will vouch by one factor that made him successful is his honesty and integrity. Now, gone are the days when you could say anything to your customer, you could commit anything, get an order and then come out. These days, that doesn't work. One, today thanks to internet, customer has got enough knowledge of what is what. He has studied the whole lot of things about your product, your competition product, everything. So be very careful when you talk to your customer because if you make a mistake and tomorrow you will you will have to repent for it big time because he will keep calling you and troubling you. Number two, the other thing that could happen is that he can go straight post it on the net. He can get into your Facebook, put a post in your own page saying that this fellow cheated me this way. Or he can get into your organization and then give a feedback there. You know, one, your company will not be happy about you. Two, your competitors will start celebrating. Three, your future employees who see that will think twice whether to take you or not. So keeping all this in mind, honesty is definitely the best policy and it never fades off. Also, even in your dealings with everybody in the system, whether it is the dealers, distributors and down the line with your sales team also, if you are not honest and trustworthy, you know the relationship is lost. They might smile in front of you, but behind you they could talk so many things. So if you are honest, yes, they may argue with you. You, you can have a healthy argument with them, but then the relationship goes on smoothly for long. So like it or not, honesty and integrity is the first principle that makes sales professionals successful in the long run. The second character that he needs to have is he needs to know his product well. As I told earlier, today customers got enough knowledge about the product. In fact, he is knowledge overloaded. So it is up to you to actually go stand in front of you should know about your product inside out. And when you present to your customer, you should be able to match to his problems for which you should know his understand his problems also extremely well. So once you understand his problems, you can then pitch in your product. It's not just your product that you need to know. I mean, they say you need to be educated even about the market. Market means what is happening to your competition, how well are your competition products placed, what's your competition doing, what's his strength, what's his weakness, vis-a-vis -vis where you stand as an organization and as a product. And yes, when we talk of sales process, we will also talk of studying the market. The third character that you need to have is you need to be very confident about your product. You need to know your product one inside out and ideally you should be using it. I mean, it may not be that all the time you, you may not be using it, but then the person, the people who are responsible for this to ensure that the sales team is very confident of the product is the marketing and the product team. They need to educate the sales team and they need to ensure that the sales team is fully convinced on the product, why it is to be sold and how it is to be sold. The next character is when you know your product well and you are confident of your product, it actually shows when you sell. It shows out to the customer. I mean, how many times have you seen people trying to sell us who have no clue what they are selling? They are not confident about the product or the service. You know, we ask customers, it's an immediate, don't never buy from them. Whether you go for buying your bike, your dress, or whatever it is. You know, the, the salesman, if he's not confident, if he doesn't talk to you confidently, what is there? Because end of the day, sales is enthusiasm. It is transfer of enthusiasm is what people say. It is said, sales is 90% conviction and 10% persuasion. So this conviction comes only if you have full confidence in your product and you know about the product well. Well, we have seen on the products, Next, let's go to the other characteristics also. The next character is you need to have a goal. Every successful sales profession has a right strategic vision for himself. Looking at the future, 
he is very clear what he has to be and when he has to be and he also knows how it has to be how the goal has to be achieved every sales profession should have a set of goals you should not have too many goals just have 3 to 5 goals that's it and ensure that this 3 4 goals is taking you to the long term goal that you have in mind and when you have a goal your goal has to be written if not it is just a dream it has to be written with a time bound by when you are going to act receive achieve it and what all you need to do for it what is the skill upgradation required and etc etc you need to look internally and outside for it who all where all you need to take help all that has to be laid out very clearly but be very clear on your long term goal and ensure all your short term goal adds up and takes you to your long term goal and another thing important thing you should keep in mind here is each time you achieve a small goal you will have to celebrate it because that is what is going to motivate you to go to the next level so please ensure that each time you reach your goal celebrate have a small celebration nothing wrong the next character that is required is you must prepare ahead so before you go to a call to a customer you should be very clear what is it i need from this call whether it is going to be relationship building whether you are going to collect information or is going to be a close you got to be very clear what am i going to achieve out of this call and before you enter the call itself you know you need to be clear whom you are going to meet what is the person like what is his likes dislikes you know today everything is available on the net like i was telling the last episode so you can study the person before you go to him you know what his likes and dislikes are talk to him accordingly or if you're going to build rapo probably you need to keep yourself psychologically prepared for that so prepare yourself ahead in mind what are you going to do before you step in rewind what was your last call like and maybe start with that it will be a good start last time we discussed this, this, this the customer also will feel happy that you have taken this call seriously so plan ahead before you enter the customer place the next character is take responsibility what do i mean by that take responsibility and stop blaming others you know in sales we have so many people to blame you have your counterparts in the service team you have the finance team you have the accounts team you have the marketing team which gives you lousy leads you know you have so many people to blame you have then the customer to blame saying that customer doesn't understand me and the more you keep blaming you only keep stepping back because your frame of mind is only to blame and you are not in the right frame of mind come out of it yes we will have problems there will be problems from your internal customers there will be problems from external customers and from the environment no point in blaming every successful sales profession has taken the responsibility it is not happening okay let me see okay under problem is there let's understand let's not cry over it instead take steps to overcome that and this is very important if you in life and in sales so be very clear stop blaming people there is a problem accept it be clear what steps you need to take to move ahead there is a saying what you focus on grows so if you look at problems you will only have problems to see and cry if you look at solutions yes you will find only solutions so it's all on your mind and we will discuss this at a later stage in greater detail well the next characteristic of a very successful sales professional is that he is always on the lookout for customers when he goes out for a party dinner lunch with people friends he is always looking out where i can sell more who i can meet who can give me introduction this networking is very important for you as a sales profession and you can see sales professions being in so many associations and get togethers the simple reason is that they can get lot of leads they can get to a lot of customers also we will be discussing this little later when you meet customer when you take an order ask for reference they are the best part of it the moment you get a referral run into the customer place because these are customers who will have no hesitation because somebody has referred them to you to them so they'll be very happy to do business with you because somebody has trusted and they think yes you are trustable so please be always on the lookout to see where i can get my next customer where i can find my customers the other important feature is you need to take break now normally what happens is as a sales profession many of us work for about 10 plus hours a day 
and sometimes even on weekends also you burn out so much that you know you are not fit to make calls after some time we forgo our sleep we forgo our food and both of us it is very dangerous in the long run even in the short run because if you don't sleep well and you go to a customer fully tossed out you know how he will react because we ourselves don't enjoy when somebody comes to us fully who is not had a good sleep and he is half asleep and comes to us walking like half asleep it doesn't throw a good picture about you also so take breaks ensure that you take enough of breaks relax get your mind out of sail maybe you can do whatever is your favorite thing like either listening to music or watching a movie reading books do this regularly especially weekends try and take a break as much as possible so taking breaks is very important don't burn yourself out and that is not going to take you anywhere in the long run or in the short run maybe today it will help you but no tomorrow and day after you will be out of the game so please avoid it to sum it up have enough sleep have food on time if you can do this your sales call will be good the next character is do it now attitude now the moment you start procrastinating things saying i'll do it today i'll do it tomorrow push it back for a week you can be well assured that your enthusiasm levels are down which means you need to relook at your motivation you need to relook at your whole game and readjust yourself so for every sales profession you need to look at yourself every from time to time every three couple of days look at yourself and see if you are procrastinating any of the activities and things because that is not sending the right signal for you and for the market so whenever you find yourself procrastinating sit down take a call take a break work on yourself see where you need to correct what is demotivating you or what needs to be what needs to be done to motivate you to go ahead with the call well now we'll see some characters which we need to exhibit when we are in front of the customer the first one is hearing because in life we are taught how to read how to write but we are not taught how to hear you people will argue saying hey you are in sales profession you need to talk more listening is a very tough skill i mean the way we are brought up the way we do things we mostly listen so that we can reply but when it comes into life or in sales you know you listen without having any judgment in mind you are listening only to understand the customer without any judgment you would listen quietly yes every now and then you can ask questions you can nod your head or give some small hums and yes ask some small questions but listen carefully because even steven covey in his seven habits the fifth habit if i'm not mistaken says understand to be understood because we would like to talk to a person who hears us and that is true even for your customer if you are there to hear what he has to say very patiently yes he will be willing to listen to what you have to say if not when you just keep talking 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 <coughs> all that he does is goes out it goes through one year comes out that he is not bothered this fellow is not interested in to listen what i say now how would i be interested in listening to what you say in fact there is another saying to build relationship with the customer you need to hear properly you need to hear him out only if you hear him out you will understand where his pain points are what is he trying to say when you hear him clearly you can also see his body language what is he trying to convey out of it how his gestures are what is the tone of his voice that will tell you a lot of what the customer is trying to tell you the next characteristic you need to exhibit in sitting in front of the customer is you need to manage your emotions this is a tough call actually because a customer there are customers who will who will call you they'll give you nice tea coffee take go give you a good welcome reception they'll give you but they'll never give you orders on the other hand there would be some customers who would actually eat your brain off but then you can expect business from them so you need to be very clear how do i manage my emotions 
like I was saying the first episode, it could also happen that you finish a call where the customer has eaten your brain out and you need to drop that emotions as you walk into the next call. In our offline training, you know, we have techniques which can help you come back to normal, which of course we will talk a little later in this. In one of the episodes, we will definitely try to look at it where you can actually, in a snap, you can change your mind, mood and walk into a customer place with a fresh mind. And even when the customer irritates you, you need to sit calm, peaceful, you need to focus on your business. You need to be very clear, yes, I'm here to do business. This is how he is, I can't correct him. Let him be as it is, but let me work my way around to get the business. So manage your emotions, which is again another very important character when you sit in front of a customer. The next important thing is to build relationship. Well, we'll be having a couple of episodes on this in the future where we will talk about how to build relationship. It's a very interesting topic because we'll be using some NLP and hypnotic techniques to ensure that we build a good relationship with customer. We had touched upon a little bit of it when we are talking about the first impression, but there's a lot to go. In fact, again, hearing is one application which comes here big time if you want to build relationship. And relationship is a weapon for every salesperson. Because at the end of the day, your relationship with your customer, with your internal or your external customer, is what is going to take you through in the long run. So relationship building is the biggest weapon that we have in sales. As sales professionals, we need to build our relationship with a long term in mind. Today you might, or once you pick an order from the customer, it doesn't end with that. With the relationship, you need to take the help of the customer to give you more customers. They will give you more referrals depending on how much they trust you, what kind of relationship they have with you. The other important characteristic for a successful sales profession is when they sit in front of the customer, they know when to walk away. If the customer is too pushy and you are not there, if you are unable to one, meet his requirement, two, if the customer is demanding too much, it's sometimes better that you walk out of the sale instead of committing and then getting into trouble. So there are times when it is good to actually lose sales. You know, that might sound a little off track, but it is actually good sometimes you lose sales. Because I have got experiences where some of the calls I have walked out giving competition a room, but the next time the customer called me, not the competition. Because the customer was demanding too much. I knew even my competition can't meet his requirement. But in desperate to have a sale, he walked in, they fell into the trap and they were blacklisted forever. So you, sometimes it is good that you walk out of a call. And as a professional salesperson, you should know when you should walk out. If you think you cannot, it doesn't make sense, you're going to bleed, fine, tell them thank you and walk out. The other important character is when you're in front of a customer, like I said, you walk out one extreme. The other extreme is always think as a win-win situation where the customer should never get a feeling that he has been cheated or he has been pushed to the corner to buy from you. This is very important because that will spoil the relationship. You might, if he, he should never, at the day, it's a game of perception. And the moment the customer perceives that you are too pushy, you are into, you are somebody who is tough to handle, you know, you can be rest assured you have lost the customer. So ensure that you win, that you are not bleeding, and the customer has also got a good deal and ensure that his problem is looked into seriously and all is all that he needs is met and he's also convinced at the right price point and with all the other terms of supplies remaining that he is happy to end up i would say also ask for referral whenever wherever possible keep taking referrals because this will be the easiest way for you to grow your sale up. The moment the customer gives you a referral, walk into that customer, you can always say, yes, so-and-so referred me to you. And that customer there, as I told earlier, will be happy to receive you because he knows somebody has trusted and you have done something good there. Another important character for a successful salesperson is he should be able to celebrate rejections. This is one profession where you'll be coming across with a lot of no's. That's part of the game and that shouldn't pull you down. That shouldn't demotivate you. You should have your chin up, say, okay, fine. Because end of the day, 
you are not going to win every sale. No sales profession has won every sale. It is true that we'll be losing some customers. Some customers may not like us also. That's fine. It's part of the game and that continues, that will continue to happen. So you will be rejected. That's okay. And but you try to study why exactly where you lost the deal, why you were rejected out, why you succeeded, and also study why you succeeded. That's very important. Because there will be lessons that you need to learn to take to carry forward. And for any successful sales profession, it is how he improves upon himself from every lesson that he learns from every call. End of the day, end of the call, look back and see what happened, why it happened. Take lessons, please implement it the next day. And this is the characteristics of a truly successful sales profession. Well, I had listed down a lot of characters. See what, what all you can keep implementing as you keep walking along. And all these are important characters. There are many more which we will touch upon in the future. So till we meet again, happy selling. Meantime, don't forget to subscribe because the next episode, we will be talking on an interesting subject which every salesperson has in mind is should I accept this job offer? If I get an offer for a sales in sales because the one of the biggest problem is people are jumping from one company to another to another to another. So to avoid that, you know, if you can sit back and answer these few questions, the necessity to jump from one place to another will come down. So we will be discussing about that in the next episode. By the way, don't forget to press the subscription and the bell button because when the next episode is uploaded, you will be intimated immediately. Thank you. Till we meet again. Happy selling. Bye.